everyone today we are going to see some of the examples of evaluation of prefix expression in the previous lecture we already discussed about how to evaluate postfix expression now let's evaluate prefix expression so the expression is given as plus minus 9 2 and 7 what is meant by prefix when the operator come before operand then this expression is called as a prefix when we evaluate postfix expression we start scanning the symbols from left to right but if you want to evaluate the prefix expression we start scanning the symbol from right to left so the first symbol is 7 it goes into the stack the next symbol is 2 so in stack we have 7 and 2 the next symbol is 9 so the stack contains 7 2 and 9 now this is our stack and stack has values 7 2 and 9 we start pushing the symbols into the stack until the operator comes now the next symbol is minus this is an operator now top of the stack are 9 and 2 so 7 is as it is 9 minus 2 that is equal to 7 now our stack contains 7 and 7 two operands the next symbol is plus the operator comes so we pop first two operands 7 and 7 so 7 plus 7 that is equal to 14 so this is our final answer for the above prefix expression let's see another example okay here the another example is given minus plus 3 into 4 five division 16 exponential 2 and 3 Let's start scanning the symbol from right to left. So the first symbol is three; it goes into the stack. The next symbol is two; it goes into the stack. So here we have three and two. The next symbol comes; that is a exponential operator. Now in stack we have three and two. So we pop first operand first and then second. So two exponential three. Two exponential three means. 2 into 2 into 2 and that is equal to 8 2 exponential 3 that is equal to 8 now we have next symbol that is a 16 so 16 goes into the stack we have 8 already here the next one is a division now in stack we have here 8 and 16 so we pop 16 first and then 8 so 16 divided by 8 and that is equal to 2 the next symbol is a 5 5 goes into the stack we have already 2 and here goes 5 the next one is a 4 so in stack we have 2 5 and 4 the next symbol is multiplication now in stack we have 2 5 and 4 so pop out the topmost operand so here is a 4 symbol is multiplication and then we pop 5 So four multiply by five that is equal to twenty. So the stack contains two and twenty. The next symbol is a three. Three goes into the stack. So in stack we have two twenty and three. The next one is a plus. So here two as it is top of the stack are twenty and three. So three plus twenty that is equal to twenty three. The next one is a minus. So here only two operands left in our stack. That is twenty three and two, so twenty three minus two that is equal to twenty one, and this is our final answer for the above postfix expression. Now let's see another example. Okay, the expression is given as minus multiplication three plus sixteen two divided by twelve six. Okay, so now start scanning the symbol from right to left. So here we have symbol and stack. The first symbol is six. It goes into the stack. Second one is a twelve. It goes into the stack. Next is a division. Now twelve divided by six that is equal to two. Then the next symbol is two. So two goes into the stack. Next one is a sixteen. So in stack we have two, two and sixteen. The next one is a plus. So here we have two. Sixteen plus two that is equal to eighteen. Next symbol is a three, so it goes into the stack. So in stack we have two eighteen and three. Next one is a multiplication. 
so 2 as it is top of the stack are 3 and 18 so 3 into 18 that is equal to 54 then the next one is a minus so only two operands left 54 and 2 so 54 minus 2 that is equal to 52 this is our final answer for the above prefix expression let's see another example okay the expression is given as multiplication plus 6 9 minus 3 1 again let's start scanning the symbol from left to right so first symbol is 1 it goes into stack next one is a 3 it goes into the stack next one is a minus so 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2 next one is a 9 so in stack we have 2 and 9 next one is a 6 so stack contains 2 9 and 6 next one is a plus okay so 2 as it is top of the stack are 6 and 9 so 6 plus 9 that is equal to 15 next symbol is multiplication so here in stack we have 2 and 15 so 15 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 30 so this is our final result for the above prefix expression let's see the last question okay the expression is given as minus division plus 9 6 minus 8 3 multiplication 2 1 let's start scanning the symbol from right first symbol is 1 it goes into the stack second one is a 2 stack contains 1 and 2 next one is a multiplication so top of the stack are 2 and 1 so 2 multiply by 1 that is equal to 2 next one is a 3 so stack contains 2 and 3 next one is a 8 so in stack we have 2 3 and 8 we start pushing the symbols into the stack until they are operands if the operator comes then we evaluate that expression next one is a minus so 2 as it is top of the stack are 8 and 3 so 8 minus 3 that is equal to 5 next one is a 6 6 goes into the stack so we have 2 5 and 6 then the next one is a 9 so stack contains 2 5 6 and 9 next one is a plus so in stack we have 2 5 top of the stack are 9 and 6 so 9 plus 6 that is equal to 15 next symbol is a division here 2 as it is top of the stack are 15 and 5 so 15 divided by 5 that is equal to 3 the next one is a minus so here only two operands remaining 2 and 3 so 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1 so this is our final result for the above prefix expression i hope you understand how to evaluate the prefix expression if you have any doubt any query regarding this topic or any other topic then let me know in the comment section